In this video, you'll learn effective ways to communicate project and portfolio variants using Enrich Viewport and the Enrich Analytics platform. Knowing the current project cost or project value is useful, but sometimes the change in value or cost since the last review has even more relevance to the decisions at hand. If you need to know how a project's value, cost, spend, or schedule has changed since the last budget cycle, project review, or portfolio meeting, you need variance analysis. Begin by selecting the historical portfolio or portfolio scenario you want to compare to the current portfolio. In the Enrich Analytics platform, you select a second portfolio from the variance control panel, accessible through the cog icon in the top right corner. For example, you could select the portfolio from your last portfolio review meeting. In Enrich Viewport, you choose your second portfolio using the pencil link in the top right corner, or on the datasets page, where you can set the portfolio for the current session or for all users. With a variance baseline, also known as a reference portfolio, set, Enrich Analytics computes the variance for key metrics in real time. Looking in the table view, you'll see dropped projects, those only in the reference portfolio in red, and those only in the base portfolio that have been added in blue. You'll also see variance columns in your field chooser. All variance columns are suffixed with the word variance. Your Enrich Analytics instance can be configured with variance columns for numeric items, dates, and even text fields. Date variance is shown in days. Text variance is shown as a percentage score, and numeric variance is shown as a difference. Numeric fields and code changes in red and green to make variances easier to see. The Filters dialog for date and numeric variance columns contains two checkboxes to make filtering projects based on their variance even easier. The Omit Zero checkbox automatically filters out all the items with no variance. If you need even more control, you can click the Exclude checkbox to invert the slider controls, and you'll only include those items outside the slider range which are those with the greatest variance. The same variance columns are available for use in the charts. Waterfall charts are perfect for highlighting how you evolved from the last portfolio to today. They group variances for a portfolio into adds, drops, increases, and decreases. The currently loaded portfolio is the base portfolio, while the comparison portfolio is called reference in the pull-down menus above the chart panel. Other items in the two pull-down menus let you compare portfolio scenarios in the waterfall. See our video on scenario analysis to learn more about those options. A single click on a project in the table or in the chart will drill down to more detailed information, including variances. Red and green backgrounds on key performance indicators highlight whether a project situation has improved since the last review. Hovering over one of these will provide more information. A single click will drill down yet again to a detailed breakdown of variance. For dates, you'll see a Gantt chart in addition to the current and historical dates displayed in the table below the chart. For quantities over time, such as cost and revenue, you'll see a line chart comparing the two data sets. You can use the slider to fine-tune the time horizon shown. For financial statements, you'll see variance represented visually with red and green coloring on the statement itself. Drill down to a comparison by clicking on a line item in the statement. Text fields with changes are highlighted and hovering allows you to see the changes directly. Variance can be calculated on the fly for a division, a region, or a development phase, or any other grouping. Just subtotal in the table or group in the chart, and your drill downs will show variance at that level. To look at the absolute difference between portfolios, try the bar chart view. In the Enrich Analytics platform, project variance analysis is enhanced by the ability to compare multiple points in time or multiple project scenarios. For example, just select a date range and all available snapshots in that range can be compared for the current project. Because there might be multiple snapshots, you'll no longer see heat maps, but you can click on any of the metrics to see a complete history over time. 
You can compare the current financial statement with any of the historical scenarios by selecting one from the snapshots pull-down. Clicking through into a financial statement line item will show you the selected comparison. Reset the pull-down menu to the top option to compare all scenarios with the present project value. You can review the project edit history by clicking on the history icon in the top right of the drill down. Variance analysis helps to tell an essential part of a portfolio story. We hope this tour of variance visualizations in the Enrich Analytics product suite has inspired you to include variance in your standard portfolio reviews. If you haven't tried Enrich Analytics for yourself, and seen just how easy variance analysis can be, drop us a line. Thanks for watching.